as someone who had actively practiced in the health sector in Nigeria, and you're currently also actively practicing in the health sector in the UK, what are the what are the differences? What are, what are the things that you know that you would say that Nigeria can look up to, pick up, you know, while trying to improve our health sector down here from the health sector where you currently practice? Believe me, there is, there is a lot of different, much different. Fine, Nigeria, we're trying, but when it comes to the health sector, we're a bit underdeveloped. Okay. Because I'm practicing in a different sector. Back in Nigeria, I was in the community. Here, I'm an adult nurse. So, a lot of training goes into the nursing sector, into the health sector generally, because you find out that when I came to the UK, I couldn't even practice. Oh. I was, there was something they called supernumerary. I wasn't in the numbers. I had to be trained and retrained, irrespective of my experience back home. They had to make sure I got acquainted with what was going on within their own healthcare sector. And it comes down the ladder, whether you are a senior staff nurse, whether you are a matron, whether you are a healthcare assistant, you get the new basic training they need you to have. Funny enough, at the beginning I was pissed, I was annoyed, because even cannulation down to setting an IV line. I was, I had to get trained and signed off for those competencies before I could practice. So they take it so serious that I wish back home we could copy how passionate they are about healthcare. There are some lapses we overlook in Nigeria that is not overlooked down here, irrespective of how my news it is okay let me bring in something they call the dating system here i didn't know anything about it for me the dating system is accountability that if i make an error by myself or i notice someone else making an error i will have to date it simply means i will have to report it and it is used as a training modality, a learning curve, you find out that the practice educators call you or call the unit and come and retrain the whole staff so that such errors don't occur again. Believe me, I never saw that when I was practicing in Nigeria.